and we should be back. Hopefully. We apologize for the flickering issues in the free stream, but I blame Direct X7 and rotting things full screen in a graphics wrapper. So yeah. Or the Germans. <laughs> and the Germans. No, no seriously, why, why would we blame the Germans? Why the hell not? Seriously, the Germans are actually a pretty damn decent people, so let's not be like that. Alright, so, let's actually talk about what we are supposed to do here. For those of you just joining us, I'm Arthur Wolf, your host, and I'm joined today by Shining Finger and Overminty. Hello, stream. That was Overminty. <coughs> <laughs> and the guy who just laughs at people, that's Shining Finger. He's and actually a good guy to have around, because I do a lot of silly things and stupid things and dumb things on the stream, so I need someone to laugh at me. And today we are continuing our top 20 segments, sorry about that. And we are doing the Sega CD. There are some nice games on the Sega CD. Ha, just kidding. They're all terrible. But that won't stop us, because we are going to play them anyway. So, let's hop right in there. So, uh, how do you feel about Cadillacs and dinosaurs? I well, don't think there's a much better combination. Oh, nice I'm glad we agree. Sunny skies today with brisk clear tonight with a low near forty four. The story you're about to see contains scenes in which the characters are riding in a car without wearing seatbelts. This is not advisable. Please wear your seatbelts at all times when riding in a car. This message is furnished in conjunction with General Motors Corporation. Huh. Why is this claim I would have been uh, Probably, but it just consists of... Holy shit! Dinosaurs run! Cadillacs and dinosaurs! Nice! And here's the title of the game again, if you forgot what was on the box and on the first intro screen. Oh, to be honest, I don't think dinosaurs. you can reinforce it enough. Also, fun fact, it automatically sets the game to hard mode. Wait, what? 
And there is only a hard and an easy mode. There is no normal mode. So yeah, you know what? I'm for once. I'm actually going to put the game on easy so that we can actually get anywhere. In any case, this is Cadillac and Dinosaurs: The Second Cataclysm, based on the Cenozoic Tales comic book by Mark Schultz, which is a really good comic, actually. I used to read it back when I was a kid, and I enjoyed it. I'm sure this will live up to those expectations. Ha <laughs> ha. So, I take it that uh, the two of you have no previous experience with the Cenozoic Tales? None. None? Well, you see that guy with the greaser hair there? He's a mechanic. Mm. And mechanics are gods in this setting. Mainly because all the machines that we had to use to keep humanity alive for the 150 years we were hiding in the vaults were maintained by mechanics, which meant that having a good mechanic Means you had a pretty good life. Well, if you didn't have any mechanics, you were bound to die. And this continues once they actually head out as well, because the only people who know how to build machines and get shit going are mechanics. Let's watch, watch this credit screen for a while while I babble. In any case, and that's... Bombshell in the back is the main lover interest and the second main character, and she basically hangs out with that mechanic hero, and they go on lots of crazy adventures with dinosaurs and shit. So sorry if I missed something. How did the dinosaurs happen again in 450 years? <laughs> well, you see. Let's play the game. Ah, oh, good deal. I don't think the city is supposed to be doing that. Stock scream! <laughs> no, I don't remember you at all, actually. But it felt so real. Wait, was that? Was that the red skull? <laughs> no, that's the orange skull. Yes, Lieutenant Dance Legs, I agree. Get in the Cadillac. Basically, that's what Jack does. He refurbishes Cadillacs. So now we have to drive and shoot at the same time, because we don't. I'm a lone player. Also, yeah, as Jack says, don't attack living creatures, because the entire idea behind the heroic gun side of the conflicts in his episode tales is to live in harmony with nature and don't pollute and don't be a wait a minute the main character refurbishes Cadillacs but oh you see they are actually magical nuclear powered Cadillacs so they don't cause any en environmental damage at all 
I think that was what they claimed, at least. Oh god. As you can tell, I'm doing my best to hit everything. I don't understand. If you're not supposed to shoot any living creatures, what are you shooting? The obstacles? Yeah. I'm literally blasting things out of the way. <laughs> While still making sure not to hit any animals that just happen to stick their heads out. It's a pretty powerful gun. <laughs> yeah, it is. You should also be noticed that in this particular section, shooting is all I can do. So I'm just going to shoot and drive and... Whoa! Whoa! It's a, it's a good point by QM. Instant death. Do you have an hour to do this, or...? Yes, you are on a timer. Is that for this section or the whole game? <laughs> I don't know. I've never gotten past this section. I only tried this section. <laughs> this is the game, folks. Smashing into shit with a Cadillac, the game. God damn it. Get used to those animated death segments, by the way. <laughs> there are quite a few of those. Alright, since turning left at the front there apparently leads us into a big angry thing, let's try turning right. Stop yeah, driving into time. everything, Jack. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Get away from me! I think it's sort of yeah. fair that I'm not allowed to hurt the animals, but the animals are allowed to completely wreck my shit if I happen to touch. Wow, did I just kill a snail? I just drove over a giant snail. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, I... Considering it's a snail, it's actually pretty fast. I'm just going to refrain from commenting from this point on. Hang on, that red bar on the top, is that your progress? No, that's my health. That oh, right. If that fills up entirely with red, we also get a game over. Ah, okay. Since I'm just going to hit everything. But for the love of God. Can they just shoot them in the face and then, like, get out of the way or something? Uh, also, by the way, you can shoot your health pickups, destroying them instantly, so don't do that. Ha. Huh. Dodged you. Okay, let's see. There will be one. Yeah, there you are. Oh. God. Oh, God. The problem is that you have to react to turn in the opposite direction, because... They... Oh, uh, okay. Dance Legs would like to know what happens when you do shoot the dinosaurs. Basically, some blood spurts out of the face and you get a negative amount of points, I believe. And that's it. They don't move out of the way. They don't treat you bad. Nothing. If you shoot them, can you still get also killed by them? Yep. Also, fix up from past uh, a bit before. Speaking of prehistoric races, have you played DC races yet? No, I have not. Seriously, for the love of God, can it level be over already? I'm on my last life, and I have a bad feeling about this. No, sure, let's just start a completely new sequence of driving, why not? Where are we even going? I don't know. Jack's driving. 
Seriously, dinosaurs. Stop. G get out of my way. I'm trying to be all harmonious and shit with you right now. Oh, but snails, no. I don't want to kill the snails, but they just appear right in front of me. Holy shit, dinosaurs. I don't know, after seeing all this, I don't think I even want to know what hard mode is like. Can I just move on to chapter 2, please? <laughs> no? Uh. Then why does it say chapter 1 if you can't actually switch to a different chapter? <laughs> now, it should be noted that I actually played this on hard mode when I was testing it, and the only difference is that hitting shit makes your health drop faster. Which means that the dinosaurs will still instantly kill you. And it should be noted that dinosaurs and have been represented five out of six deaths so far. So yeah. I'm just gonna slalom through all these things. I'm not even going to shoot anything now. I'm going to be completely harmonic. I'm not even going to leave bullet casings behind. Sure, you go for a pacifist run. Yes. Or like a save line. your ammunition for the boss that is surely to come up the run. This game has boss fights? No. Not what I know of, at least. We have no idea. Oh, God. Uh. It doesn't really help that those you can't actually be sure if it will kill you or not because there are some of those things, those big logs that have fallen over that will not kill you if you hit them, but some will. Such as there, for example. That was a full-size log, but I hit it but didn't die. I'm not going to complain, I'm just confused as to why. No, Dinosaur, uh, get away. Uh, Asmer wants to know if there are any checkpoints. There are checkpoints. We have already passed two by now, actually. They're just not really readily apparent in any way. Are the checkpoints the splits in the row forks? No, I don't think so. Huh. They're just... After a certain distance driven, you notice that you are g get to start slightly ahead of where you were. I'm amazed you can tell because of the lack of distinct scenery. Ah, oh, there we heard we heard a little bell noise there. That was probably a checkpoint. That makes a bit more sense. I hope. In the straight sections, can you not just drive straight and shoot constantly? Well, you'd want to, but it doesn't really work all that well. Yes. Because the hit de because hit detection is not all that splendid, to be quite nah. honest. You also have a preset repeater speed on the gun itself, so no matter how fast you actually slam on the buttons, there are some bullets that yeah, will not be fired, basically. Whee, oh god. Okay, we're back to where we got our game over, so let's see if we can progress from this point. Fuck you, dinosaur. Fuck you. God. So much. What have I done to upset that Brachiosaurus anyway, apart from being human, you big lizard racist bitch? Jeez. Ah. I simply turn away from the dinosaur, and that way they won't kill me. Oh god. Oh. I'm pretty sure I didn't even hit him that time. It really throws you off because of the side they come from is the one that will kill you if you drive to it, but they sort of loop around so you're tempted to drive inwards. Yeah, that, it gets me every time. I know that that shows you how bad I am at this sort of game, but every time my reflex as a driver is to go where the object is not, because that is where you'll escape normally. The problem is that 
if you try to go yeah. and there I bounced off a rock into him oh god why let me get to chapter 2 for crying out loud seriously it should be mentioned that this game is not bad really per se it's just that the home version that we're playing has some weaknesses it was way better in the arcade where the first driving section wasn't 20 minutes long. Okay, this time I'm just going to drive all the way out on the right side. There. Oh god, and they come from they come from the right. Sure, why not? Fuck your shit. What's making that laugh? Is it the dinosaurs laughing at you? It wouldn't surprise me. Probably every oh. laughing animal ever to have lived is in this jungle right now laughing at me because that's the entire plot setting because in the years they were in the vaults somehow every extinct animal ever came back at the same time which well, would be a be really really tricky time to be a small mammal seriously. It bounced me off a tree into him when I was trying to turn away. Oh my lord. Okay, extra life code. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Lieutenant Tansleg. Let's see. Uh, le C, A, down, A, left, left, A, C. Let's see if that actually works. Not really. Okay, let's try and do it fast. C, wait. C, A, down, A, left, left, A, C. No, apparently not. Well done. That's troublesome. Wow. What this are you even a... doing? Okay, okay, let's let's try the level selects. <laughs> yeah, that is the, that probably was legit the best death yet because that was completely ridiculous, seriously. Well, okay, let's see. Right. C up B right oh, up B B A down up B B A down up B. Ah, there we go. Now press A B C and start all at the same time to go back to the main menu. Hey! Nice work! Chapter 2 is... Wait, why are we in the city? My spies saw Tenleg and the Wasoon woman take off with his cabin just before dawn. Yeah? So what? Knowing Tenleg, it spells trouble for us. We can't afford to have him interfere with our plans. Especially not now. Well, you're the all-powerful governor. Why don't you just have him detained? Permanently. I'll leave that to you and your merry band of cutthroat poachers. It'll be our pleasure. <laughs> Why don't you have them detained? Perma Fuck you! The Zeeks will do anything to protect what? their nests. I'm not even gonna press. Oh god! Well, oh god! Snails! Snails! And pterodactyls! All right, that's it. Full auto time. I'm going to shoot anything that dares get on the screen. Where's my auto fire button? Oh shit, I can fire grenades. Why was I not informed? What the heck was that cutscene all about? Maybe because you're spamming fire? That was a Triceratops right there, so had I taken a right turn, it would have been an instant death. You don't even have time to see the damn things attacking you. Seriously, what the hell? There's nothing you can do about that, surely. It just... <laughs> <laughs> it 
This is the best game on the system, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> oh god, can I just go back to the main screen again, please? Chapter 3. More driving. driving. <laughs> Alright, now we're in the desert. Maybe we get to drive in the desert this time. Follow me, he says, walking in the back. No, d don't give me that bullshit. You know exactly what we need to do, so tell us. God damn it. That's not the Fuck way you. Of the they have a code against interfering in human affairs. Same as always. When we humans mess up this planet, it's our responsibility to clean it up. That's the balance of life. Yeah, look at those hideous red growths on that tree trunk. What could they be? Never seen anything like it before. It's Maybe Pika. It something to do no. with the ancient evil Hob warned us about. Whatever it is, it's definitely unnatural. We have to find out what or who is behind this. I think we should pay a visit to Hammer and his poaching thugs. I'd rather wrestle a Shiva. The day is young, Hannah. <laughs> and then we get a second. Oh, really? Yay. Oh, for God's sake, they did Now there's traps. The new area. Also, random gazers. Whoa, and rocks popping out of the ground? Really? That's the best you can do? Giant rocks just appearing out of the ground to kill me? They're actually just 2D placards and they're being rogue. <laughs> Why are you even driving so fast as to slam into shit and instantly die? I mean, just drive gently, slowly. Or perhaps take a path that doesn't take you through the thick of a goddamn jungle filled with rocks and trees. I guess. Okay, chapter four. Hammer's compound. Dead ahead. Will it be keep or driving? Terms. Hammer hates unexpected visitors. Hammer hates all visitors. Get ready, boys. Looks like open season on Wasoons and old blood mechanics. Three, two, one. Why do they always do that with binoculars in games and on film? When you look through a set of binoculars, you get one circle. You don't get two circles. You especially don't get two circles with black space in between. More driving. Chapter 5. What's unexpected bullshit? Yeah, <laughs> and it was the same jungle again. Seriously, we've had a desert level and we'd have a mountainous canyon level and there's still the freaking jungle. Why is the blood coming out of a skull? I don't understand. My men managed to roll out quite a welcome for our visitors. <laughs> Old Cadillac Jack and the Watsuna history. You owe me big time for this, Sean Horse. You paid credit for Tenrek's death before, Hammer. Bring me the corpses, and you'll get what's coming to you. Sure. I'll have them gift wrapped and delivered to your office. Take them to my hidden factory. I'll meet you there. 
Drop your weapons. What the hell is up with your gun? Jack, Tenric, and Lawasun. What a surprise to see you so alive. We'll have to do something to correct our <laughs> really? miscalculation. <laughs> that was the best you could come up with. What's this hidden factory? So you're still What's this hidden factory? Well, you see, it is a factory and it is hidden. But when the stuff's used on slithers. I can snatch a litter of pups, cage them up, and grow them big in no time. Then I sell off their parts for major profits. It would take you and Sharnhorse to dream up something this demented. You're in no position to criticize, Wasoon. Hey, Hammer! Look what I found! Tenrex Cadillac! Hammer, now! Out of the car, Slither Breath. Give it up, Tenrex! You'll never make it out of here alive! <laughs> Give it up, Frederick! You'll this. never make it out of alive! I'm view for T Justice! How rude of us, Jack! Rushing off without thanking Hammer for his hospitality! If we're not careful, we so far, Hammer is clearly dead. the best character in the game, just because he has no idea what's going on either, really. I sure. These death animations are wonderful. Seriously, I just feel like driving into shit to see how they animate the deaths because it's just... Oh shit, giant rocks. Oh no, you get the same one. Boo! Alright, chapter 6. How's it look? Just like the others. More side effects of Sharnhorst's twisted experiment. She's messing with the Machinatio Vitae. She'll destroy us all if we don't stop her. We have to find the hidden factory. How can you hide an entire factory? What with all the smoke? Smoke? <laughs> Step on it, Tenrak! We have to get a look inside that volcano! I just know that's where the factory's hidden! Don't get trigger happy, Hannah! Keep your eyes peeled for Shiva! Shoot everything that moves and everything that is stationary as well. In fact, just shoot everything. Oh god, what? Blurg. Seriously, so many horrible accidents could have been avoided in this game if it just... A day to the freaking speed limit. They just wear more seat but Candlelacks don't come with seat belts, and besides, he's just a genius mechanic. How could he ever possibly fit something that advanced? Well, uh. Hmm. We'd oh, hey! It's the image from the main screen. Maybe this is just a wild goose chase. Don't bet your Cadillac, Jack. Look! Armed guards. Come on, let's tail them. Here we go, finally! We get to drive a different vehicle. That's on rails. And this background's just going to be the jungle again. <laughs> if it is, I'm going to punch someone. <laughs> oh no, it is alive and angry and things. The heck was up with that train track? It made like a 110 degree turn over three. Whoa! Holy shit! Whoa! That's a change. Oh, there we go. This brings back memories of playing Inca. I'm trying, damn it. It's not that simple. They have up the time to just ignore being hit. This thing is going pretty fast, isn't it? Honestly, oh. I'm just happy we're finally out of that damn chunk. Okay, so I have a set of machine guns that will just get rid of everything for me. And I can still use the actual gun as well. 
Wait, was that the... That, that was the man falling out of window screen. Really? That's wonderful. Let's see if we can kill one of those guys if we can listen to the whole screen. It's one of my absolute favorite stock screens ever. They just cut it off. Man. Chapter 8. I've got a bad feeling about this. The ancients used this symbol to warn of deadly contamination. Maybe we should listen to their warning. No, we've come this far for a reason. This is no factory, it's a nuclear reactor. And these And in nuclear reactors, you keep nuclear weapons. Why the hell were you here all along? I hate you. So we have to gently and slowly reduce the power of the factory in order to destroy the nuclear weapons through magic, I guess? There's something about stealing them away as well. And I guess that meter down in the left is the energy level of the factory, maybe? And I had to cause a certain degree of destruction? By just shooting all kinds of shit? Apparently the pressure gauge gauges for the pipes and the stem objects is a guy This is the most ridiculous section so far, really. Yeah, I have no idea either. I'm just shooting things and hoping for the best. Oh, 
how do you even derail in a tunnel like that? Going straight ahead. God, I can't move my <laughs> cross here fast enough to hit the damn things. Yeah, it's a good point, like, Doctor. I don't quite understand what this pressure gauge is supposed to represent with these colors. The energy level of the factory slowly lowering? So it goes from yellow to red to green. <laughs> the so guy who decided was man. colorblind, okay? Just give him a break. Uh, nothing. Well, I'm mad at all. I decided that it's just simply really hated vegetables. Oh, my ground machine gun actually works again. It was out of ammunition earlier, but I didn't actually see anything resembling a ammo gauge. So I was just... I just thought that you couldn't use it anymore in this level. But apparently you can. Every time you die, it reloads. Good to know. Okay, we have reached red mode. I have no idea what that means. Perhaps it will... work soon? Wait, Tapcom says there are pipes to shoot? <laughs> so what, I have to shoot the right colors that I'm at? So for example, now that I'm in the red, I have to shoot the red ones. If that's true, then I'm not entirely sure if we uh, have any place playing this game anymore. Can we just skip to the last chapter, please. <laughs> Fine by me. Yeah. Okay, in any case, we figured out sort of what we're supposed to do. I haven't. <laughs> Warning. Warning. Pressure failure in main reactor coolant. Oh shit, the master, master chamber. And it's literally drooling blood. Oh shit, boss music. Not that we can hear jack shit over all this noise though. <laughs> So glad that we can see this massive dinosaur chasing us. Yeah, I was about to say, is you don't really capitalize on the whole being chased by a dinosaur thing if you know you can't actually even see the dinosaur at all. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, the Geiger counter is important, and I think oh. I figured out why. That's green as shit. Yeah, because you apparently turn the, the wrong direction stuff. and you die instantly. Yeah, radiation poisoning. Will I have no idea how to actually turn in a different direction, though. I guess I have to shoot the arrow? I guess just hold that direction before you get to it. No, because that's how I control my crosshair. There's probably going to be some really dickish control they haven't told you about that changes the um, track. Well, there, I have to shoot it before I reach it. Wow. They oh don't my. really give you much time to react to that, do they? If you don't actually know that it's coming up, there's no way you will be able to move it there in time. They'll also probably tip people over for just shooting straight by making some you have to change it, some you don't. Can we just watch the final cutscene? No, we can't. We have to no, beat that level to watch the end. 
Uh, canon ending. They died. <laughs> in radiation. The ending. Go to YouTube. Pretty much. And it's still a better ending than the one they originally had for Fallout 3. Thank oh, God. Well, that was a lot of time spent on a game that we really should have left behind after level <laughs> 2. Okay. I'm sorry about that. So I guess we're just better off reading the comics. The comics are actually legit good, so yeah, do that instead. They're actually good, so do that. <laughs>